Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and welcoming Dr. Reid Hoffman. I know that you've all received a copy of the book which I gifted to you in honor of today in the, in the respect of the achievement of graduating. In the book, I began with a quote from Muhammad Yunus, and today I will also begin again with that quote. All humans were born entrepreneurs. In the caves, we were all self-employed, finding food, feeding ourselves. That is how human history began. As civilization came, we suppressed it. We became labor because they stamped us, you are labor. I begin with this quotation because entrepreneurs are important. Here in the US, we've always known this because we have an entrepreneurial nation. We have the founding fathers of this nation. In parallel, entrepreneurs are founders of companies. The vast majority of people in the U.S. are descendants of immigrants who took a huge gamble to cross an ocean and come to a new land. In parallel, many entrepreneurial companies emerge from immigrant founders and immigrant talent who have come here to build these companies. The American dream is the ability to make your own destiny through hard work, perseverance, and some combination of intelligence and luck. In parallel, new entrepreneurial companies succeed on the same basis. Generally, many people who think of entrepreneurs as the relatively few individuals who take their own isolated path away from society. Few entrepreneurs succeed, but when they do, they create products, companies, and jobs for many others. These products, companies, and jobs are part of the ongoing health of a society. And this is really important. Just consider the current unemployment rates. We wish we had more entrepreneurs creating more businesses. However, in the modern world, entrepreneurship is even more important than the creation of companies and jobs. Entrepreneurial talents, skills, and mindsets now apply to all jobs and professions. This is new, brought about by the accelerating change in the world from globalization and technology. In the last decades, there was a notion of pursuing a career ladder. You would graduate from a good college, like you are here today, and you would select from a set of employers who want you to join the first rung of a career ladder, or if fortunate, a career escalator. You might have some choices around industry, finance, transport, technology, or function, sales, marketing, finance, product development. But fundamentally, you would choose and you would seek and choose a path. In choosing a path, you would then work at one or more companies and work your way up the steps of the career ladder. Inevitably, with some hard work and a little luck, you would retire, leaving room for the next generation to ascend the steps of their career. However, due to the changes in a globalized and accelerating world, the notion of a career has changed. Whereas before we used to have a career ladder, now we have a career jungle gym. Success in a career is no longer a simple ascension of a path of steps. You need to climb sideways and sometimes down. Sometimes you need to swing and jump from one set of bars to the other. And to extend the metaphor, sometimes you need to spring from the jungle gym and establish your own turf somewhere on the playground. And if we really want the playground metaphor to accurately describe the modern world, neither the playground nor the jungle gym are static entities. They are constantly changing. New structures emerge, old structures are in constant change, and sometimes collapse, and the playground constantly moves the structures around. Modern careers, the ones in front of you, need to deal with this constantly changing environment, where the playing field changes, your competition changes, and your tools change. The mindset of committing yourself to the path of a ladder or an escalator and working your way up the steps is now a bad strategy. So what are the tools and the mindset for the flexibility and adaptability of the new jungle gym and career playground? Entrepreneurship. Everyone needs to think like an entrepreneur. 
even if still only a few will be starting new businesses. Fortunately for you here today, for you graduates of Babson, you have already focused on learning entrepreneurial skills. You have the bias to action rather than elaborate planning. You understand that you need to create your work, your jobs, your career. These skills will serve you well, both for the businesses you may start and also in helping others in society learn to think like entrepreneurs. For entrepreneuring, there are hours of advice and insight. Indeed, you've already studied this for years. And I have only one to highlight today, and that was before I heard Mark's comments earlier, which is build your network. And always think in networks. Networks help you find your way. They create a sonar map of intelligence, expertise, information, and insight. Your allies, your connections, can help you navigate the large number of challenges that can derail a startup company. Networks also help you amplify your chances and magnitude of success. And just as, help, as much as they help you avoid the minefields of potential failure, they are also essential to finding where the opportunities are, how to achieve those opportunities, and how to take intelligent risks for breakout results. And the foundations of your network are here around you in this tent, around you today. As a personal example, my first job came from a roommate of a good friend of mine from my undergraduate institution, who is now also a good friend. And my serious career inflection at PayPal came from a good friend also from my undergraduate university who co-founded the company. And your networks are not just the people you know and who know you, they are also the people that they know and further, the people that they know. Life is a team sport. And as much as entrepreneurs look like individuals who explore the desert by themselves in order to find riches, they are actually successful based on their ability to find, build, connect, and collaborate with important networks. Entrepreneurs succeed based upon their connections and networks. And this leads me to our key theme for today. Entrepreneurs are massively important for society, not just because they create companies and jobs, although those are both seriously important, not just because entrepreneurism is a tool set for how all individuals need to pursue their work and careers. But entrepreneurship is massively important for society because it helps build the institutions in which we live. And as the modern world continues to accelerate, adaptability and invention become even more important. Building great companies and products is essential. Every professional having the tool set to navigate the rapidly evolving jungle gym is critical. But we also need entrepreneurial toolkits in government, NGOs, how we think about the relationship between society, institutions, and people. And we should think about innovation using technology, which is what entrepreneurs specialize in. For example, government aims to enable a platform that has empowers its citizens to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. Consider if we had free online platforms for vacational schools, basic entrepreneurship classes, and key modern skills in technologies. Why free? Free because we want everyone, every individual who wants to try to be empowered with these basic tool sets. We would empower every individual to make their own contribution. Consider also if we had the online equivalent of driver's licenses. How many more services entrepreneurs could build online? Entrepreneurs such as yourselves. And these are just two specific examples. Entrepreneurs are leaders. They lead in creating new products and companies by crossing into the ground of the unknown. And as the world changes, everyone will need these skills in their individual lives. But now, it means even more. We need entrepreneurial leadership in evolving the platform of society that we share. So entrepreneurs need to and can go further. We need to elaborate our entrepreneurial skills into the evolution of society. Here we are in a country with a great history of entrepreneurs. And here we are in an institution which focuses on these critical skills. So what does this mean for you, graduating class of Babson 2012? As you go forth from this day, remember that you are leaders and pioneers. In creating new businesses, you are helping society evolve. In sharing what you know about entrepreneurs with others, you help them adapt to the modern world. And most of all, when you, when you have the opportunity, remember to build our social platform, the framework where we all operate. 
better platforms lead to much better entrepreneurial businesses. Because if there's one thing that entrepreneurs know, an individual can change the world. And change the world at scale when you engage your networks for magnified results. Class of 2012, congratulations. You have just shipped your next product, that's you, into the world. And now it's time for your next play. Good luck.